So following last week's um, video all about summer questions and answers, I got so many more questions. So I thought today I would go over again some of the more common ones because obviously everybody is thinking about these. So number one is I sunburn much more easily. This is a really common one, unfortunately. As your least estrogen levels start to fall, it can affect the elasticity and also the thickness of the skin. So you become much more sensitive to heat, to sunshine, and you can end up burning much quicker or much more severely than what you would have done um, normally. So to do with this one, you need to be more careful in the sun. So I would tend to recommend a natural sunscreen if at all possible, especially if your skin is really sensitive and you get a, a lot of itchiness or, or hives or, or prickly heat. But the important thing here is to remember we do need sunshine to manufacture vitamin D in our skin. And one of the things I found over the years that vitamin D deficiency, especially here in, in the, the, the UK, seems to be on the increase. So we're spending less time in the sun, we're getting less vitamin D, and that can cause a whole raft of issues in the perimenopause and menopause. So if possible, you know, try and get a little bit of sunshine without the suntan cream on if you can. What I tend to do is I tend to go out sort of mid-morning if I'm doing gardening or things like that or going for a walk and get my um, daily dose of, of sunshine when possible just for about half an hour before I then protect myself either with suntan cream or by putting on um, a shirt or a t-shirt or just a, a sun hat or something. So just remember we've got to balance between protecting our skin and also just making sure we're not ending up vitamin D deficiency. Remember to stay hydrated as well. If your thin is skin, if your skin is thinner, you're going to need to keep it much more hydrated. So if you remember that idea of um, the difference between a prune and a plum, um, then a prune is just a very, very dried plum. So you want to keep your skin nice and plump. So remember the water. The other important things here too is vitamin C is needed for skin and also healthy fat. So make sure that you're getting enough of these in your daily diet to help with skin repair and regeneration. So number two is you're tired much more often in the summer months. Um, fatigue um, and discomfort due to the heat. That's just the main thing. Heat will drain us of energy. And if we're already a little bit tired, then we're going to feel that bit more tired right through the day. If it's hot at night, then you're possibly going to get more night sweats. It's going to be much more difficult to fall asleep and stay asleep when you're really, really hot. If you wake up sweating, you've then got to get up and then going back to bed. The other thing to remember too is that if you are dehydrated, which is a big issue, so it's really important as the temperature goes up, your water intake should go up. So if you're getting dehydrated during the summer months, then your bladder is going to suffer more during the night. Your urine is going to become much more acidic. That's going to irritate the bladder. So you may find in the heat, even though you're drinking less, you're having to get up twice as much during the night. And that's going to disrupt your sleep as well. So for this particular one, avoid being out in the heat for too long. Don't lie on a sunbed for hours and hours because it's just going to totally drain you. Make sure you get some kind of shade, loads and loads of water. And remember that things like tea, coffee, alcohol, things like that don't count. You need to have a good top up of plain water every single day. Um, you might find just having a night fan um, helps you to sleep better as well. So that, that's a good one. So number three, your symptoms start to get worse as the weather gets hotter. There's a, a, a load of things can happen. So you find, you might find that your skin is getting drier and we've talked about that. It might be the itchy skin, your night sweats are worse, the anxiety, 
headache, muscle aches and pains, even twitches and, and ticks can, can increase. And again, a lot of that is just to, to do with, with the dehydration that will affect all these symptoms and make them worse. So just make sure you really do increase um, your water little and often, loads and loads during the day. And if you're having issues at night, small shot glass of warm water just before you jump into bed. You could also look at um, supplements such as our Balance Mineral Drink. This has got magnesium in it, which is known to help with electrolyte balance. Um, and um, just make sure that you try and, and relax as well, because if you're more stressed, symptoms will get worse as well. The other thing that I do get a lot of comments about is those of you go away on holiday and you think, great, I'm going abroad, I'm going somewhere for a week, I'm going to relax, I've got no cooking, cleaning, anything to do. And suddenly your symptoms get worse. So there's a couple of extra things here just to be aware of. Even if you're going on holiday to relax, and I, I love traveling, you know, stick me on a plane and I will go anywhere. But it can be really stressful, even if you're a, a uh, a hardened traveller. You've got to get to the airport, you've got to get through security, you've got to get on the plane. There's a physical stress of being on the plane. You're at altitude, you're going to get more dehydrated when you're on a flight. And then what do we do when we're on holiday? We tend to eat lots of different foods that we wouldn't eat at home. We tend to drink more alcohol and we don't give ourselves a, a break. So all of these things can affect the body. The sudden change in temperature, the sudden change in tempo of daily life and all the other things that are going on can affect the whole hormonal system within our body. And this is called the endocrine system. So if there's any extra pressure on the endocrine system, that will affect your hormones, it will affect your nervous system, it will affect your blood uh, sugar control as well. So all of these things can go awry just at the point when we want to relax. So it's really important. Look after yourself well on holiday. Loads and loads of water to try and offset things like um, the alcohol. Also be really careful. One of the things I've learned uh, to my, my cost the hard way is that a lot of places on holiday will use cheap cooking oil for cooking food. And if you're eating that on a daily basis, it can really upset your digestion and end up with things and um, giving you things like diarrhea and holiday tummy. So just try and avoid fried foods and stick to the really good olive oils if you can. So I hope you found this one helpful. There's a whole raft of things that can go wrong during the summer. So if any of you have any more suggestions or questions, um, you know I always like to read them. Um, I will see you next time. Have a lovely week.